full regular diet. And what that means is I'm going to be making some stir fried rice. One of my favorites to go to with, of course, who else would have ever had guessed? Hot peppers. Now, of course, I've got this poblano here. And it's a pretty big pepper. It looks like a giant jalapeno. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I mean, it's just like, hey, this could really turn you into a pepperhead. But this is really not that spicy, so I'm not going to be using it. Because I'm going to try to make what I would hope would be a five-star level stir-fried rice. And so, what I've got here is I've got a couple of jalapenos. And I've got a serrano pepper. And yes, some Carolina Reaper. Now, how much am I going to have of this? Not sure yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start getting things cut up here. So, I'm going to set this down here. Okay. And so, how I can do this is every time I always like have a pepper, I always just kind of like to try to just like take a good old bite out of it. Mmm. 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 Now, this jalapeno is one of those rogue ones that have a little bit of kick. But I am having to consider one thing. I just got done with a two hour run. I'm a little dehydrated and I'm experiencing what happens when you eat hot food on a somewhat empty stomach and dehydrated. The typical jalapeno is gonna feel like I'm eating a habanero. But don't fret guys, that's why I'm putting all these into a stir fry so that way the heat won't be so harsh in my stomach. So let's go ahead and get started. So cut, cut it up here. Yes, mmm, jalapeno. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the dehydration, and so that's why this seems to have more kick than it normally does. It's all starting to make sense. And then make sure I get all the way to the stem. Oh, yeah, I, 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 like, I like to make use of the whole pepper. There we go. Okay. So I'm probably just going to leave it to one jalapeno, like I mentioned. I don't want to overdo it with the spice, especially like in my little dehydrated. But now, the serrano pepper. Now this is about four times hotter than a jalapeno, so this could hurt a little bit. Mm -hmm. yes Alright, cut it up here. Oh yes, it's going to be so good. I'm going to go ahead and crank up the heat on the stove. So, come over here, crank the heat up here. Oh yes. Yeah, so I'm going to be cooking in some grass-fed ground beef. I'm going to be adding some olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to turn on the fat a little bit here so that way it doesn't block out my voice here. So there we go. Okay, so now Okay, so now that that's gotten starting to get heat up, this won't be so bad because like I mentioned, as long as I eat these peppers and I'm not eating it on a completely empty stomach, which is why I'm mixing them into the food, I shouldn't really have any issues. But Okay, so now comes the fun part, and that is cutting up this Carolina Reaper pepper. Now, how much am I going to use? This is a decent sized one, and I don't want to risk giving myself an upset stomach, so I'm going to use an honest half. So yeah, half a Carolina Reaper. I've got to make sure I keep my meat stirred up. I don't want to burn it, so I'm stirring my meat. So yeah, I'm gonna just use half a Carolina Reaper. Oh, why would I be angry? Hey, Magnus, I'm not. I'm. I'm not angry. All right. Yeah. Why would I be angry? Okay. So let me. So I, once I. Once I finish uh, cooking this, then I'll be able to respond to whatever comments are on here. But for now, i got to make sure that I don't overcook things. I'm going to turn down the heat because I don't want to burn the meat. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to kind of read through some of the comments here. But okay. So, now I'm going to come back over here. Yeah. I see some mention about weed. Yeah, I'm not, I think 
my go-to right now, or my go-to is eating hot peppers. That's my go-to. Mmm, feel the heat in my mouth. Ooh, yeah. That's, that's my go-to. Good old hot peppers. Okay. Turn this down just a little more. Okay. All right. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I know some, oh, someone's saying hot peppers are nasty. No, hot peppers are the best. Hot peppers, I mean, they're the way to go. Okay. Time to cut this thing up. The Carolina Reaper. All right. Okay. So I'm going to cut this thing directly. I'm going to just take this, take the stem off. Okay, take the stem off. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this directly in half. And as you can see here, that's the inside of the Reaper. Now the actual hot part is a placenta right inside there. That's where all the heat's packed in. But if you notice, even if you take a bite off the tip, you are going to experience some of the spiciness. But this is where that 1.5 to 2.2 million Scoville is right in the placenta right there. It's not the seeds. People think you get the heat from the seeds. Now the reason why that is, is it's not the seeds themselves, but the seeds are coated with capsaicin oils. That's why it seems like the seeds are hot. So that's the inside of a Carolina Reaper. So I can do a little better than that. So I'm just going to cut this up. So as you can see here, I'm going to be a little strategic about this. I'm going to just kind of cut it up into slices. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead, cut this up into slices. And you notice, I'm actually cutting into the placenta. That's the part where it's super hot. All right, look at this. Oh, yeah. Carolina Reaper for lunch. Okay, so not very much left. Like I mentioned, you eat about half of it. And I put most of the hot part in for my lunch. Woo! All right, so take this aside here. Okay, now I'm going to bring this over. Uh, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this on over to over there. So this is going to be, I'm going to have to do this this way. So just have to kind of follow me over here. Woo, yeah, okay. So you're not going to be able to see much. I just have to make sure I get this over to my pot over here. Oh, yeah, I can't, woo. Oh, yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this. Woo. All right. I still got some reaper on this knife here, and I don't want it, I don't want it to go to I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want to waste any of this Carolina Reaper. Ooh, gotta be careful with this knife. I'm gonna put it on the pot there. There we go. Don't wanna don't wanna waste any of this hot pepper. It's like I mean it's like it's one of the best hot peppers out there. It's like the third I guess now it's probably like the third hottest pepper out there. Okay, now to buffer the heat a little more so that way it doesn't upset my stomach, is I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. So once again, I kind of have to set this down. Okay, so I'm going to set it down. All right. And pepper, hot peppers are so good. Hot peppers are so good for you. I mean, it's just, they pack in a lot of vitamin C. Uh, they got anti-inflammatories. And what I'm doing is I'm working my way up to being able to someday eat a full Carolina Reaper just like whole. Not just be able to like chew it up and eat it whole. Put in a, a, a modest amount of extra virgin olive oil, and now I stir it up. Now I'm stirring up these peppers. Mmm, look at that. Okay, I gotta show you guys here. Mmm, cutting it. So I'm stirring. I can do a better angle here. So I'm stirring it up here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Mmm, delicious, delicious. Then you'll let it fry for a little bit. You guys can get a good here, view here. Oh yeah! Oh, Ooh. yeah! It, it, it's looking good. Yeah, some grass-fed ground beef, jalapeno, serrano, and some Carolina Reaper. Okay, so now I'm just gonna saute that a little for a little bit, and actually cooking. Uh, does dissipate some of the heat from the pepper. So the more you cook it, you are dissipating some of the heat. 
So that's one way to, uh, to build up your tolerance for being able to eat hotter pepper. So while I'm at it, let's say you're not used to eating spicy food at all. And maybe you want to someday, maybe you want to work up to eating a serrano pepper. Okay, well, you, you would probably start off by eating like an Anaheim pepper or a poblano, which is this pepper right here. This is a poblano pepper. It packs about, depends on where you read the information from, anywhere between 500 and 2,000 on the Scoville heat unit scale. So this is a good pepper to start off with. It's used to make chili relleno. And so I, you could probably say like, okay, on Monday I'm gonna eat a third of a, this pepper. On Tuesday I'm gonna to try to eat half. On Wednesday I'm gonna eat a full poblano. And then like by the following week, this won't seem so bad. And then you can progress up to the jalapeno. And maybe you're stuck in the jalapeno, well, you kind of like reach a plateau. Well, that's where you can either start eating more jalapenos or you can work up to the next pepper on the scale, like the serrano, take a bite off the tip of it, and so forth and so forth. But that's like another uh, uh, video for another day. But yes, you can actually train yourself to eat hot peppers. And so you may be asking, why, do you, why would you want to eat hot peppers? Like, wh why would you want to burn your mouth, burn your throat, risk stomach discomfort? But you can actually uh, adapt yourself to eating hot peppers. And there's three areas where you've got to adapt. One is, of course, your mouth and your throat. The second area, which takes a lot longer to adapt, is your stomach. And then, of course, the third is, like, excreting it. And so that's why they say you want to generally have hot peppers on a stomach that's not empty. So you don't want to do it on an empty stomach. Okay, so now I'm gonna kick these a little longer. Okay, but I've got it going. So let me just give you guys a little view here of what's going on here. So as you can see here, they're frying up nicely. Cool, all right, okay. So now I'm gonna add in some rice. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna add in this brown, uh, brown rice and quinoa. So yes, good old rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down there. And so, yeah, it's not so bad. Once you add all these other ingredients, the peppers act. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to make a good five-star level, an honest five-star level on the spice scale. Five stars, yes, going all the way. Okay, so now, what I do now is I fry, I stir this up, I put on just a little more olive oil, because oil is a good buffer, especially make, make sure like an olive, olive oil is my go-to, packs you know, a good amount of nutrient, it's a healthy fat, one of the healthy fats out there, so I'm just go ahead and show you guys here, so now I've got the rice uh, stirring up here, so let me just go ahead, it's kind of just stir it up here. Uh-huh, yeah. And you can see those Carolina Reapers. Well, it might be hard to see, but the red in here, that's Carolina Reaper, guys. Woo, yeah. Over half a Carolina Reaper in this stir fry. Okay, now I am gonna add some Himalayan sea salt. Yes, that is rice. Oh yeah, good old rice. Okay, so now some pink, Himalayan salt. All right, there you go. In case you guys want to know what kind of salt I'm using. And then I just gently kind of give it a good dousing. Oh yeah, and like I mentioned, if you're just joining in, I just got done with a two hour run and I'm a little dehydrated. So that's why that jalapeno that I took a bite out of is kind of giving me a little sting, but it feels good. I mean, it's like a feel good burn. It's like really, it's just like, just kind of makes me feel alive. All right, and so now I'm gonna cook this just a little longer, stir it up a little more. Mm, yeah, look at these hot peppers. Yeah, there's just something about peppers. I don't know, it's just like, I just, I go crazy for feasting on peppers, especially like hot peppers or chilies. Yeah, and those names can be interchangeable, but really they're actually technically two different like species. Chilies, peppers, so I like to think of chilies 
as like hotter peppers. Like you've got regular hot peppers, but then you've got super hot peppers, and that's what you can think of as chilies. So yes, I've actually got some chilies in here, and a Carolina Reaper is a chili. All right. So now I'm going to show you guys here this. So there, it's nice and stir fried. So now I'm going to turn down the heat, turn it off, and now I'm going to add some. Cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. This is a good way to kind of help potentially buffer the, any uh, stomach cramps that may arise from eating these hot peppers. Add in a little bit of a dairy product in here and it gives it a good uh, flavor. Don't have to use as much salt. So once again here, I'm using this uh, cheddar, sharp cheddar. And from like we're on that, a popular brand like Safeway or Hagen Sells is Lucerne, but I don't like Lucerne products. I try to avoid Lucerne products. I don't know, I just, but yes, take some of this cheese, sprinkle it on here, and let it melt in, and voila, lunch is ready, or almost ready, just kind of give it a final stir or two. All right, so a little final stir here. So there you have it, that is lunch. Now I'm going to go ahead and put it on a plate. Yeah, put it on a plate. Get myself a glass of milk. Oh, yes. Post run a lunch. Woo, yeah. One more. Yeah, there you guys. Let me give you guys another view of that. Oh, yeah. And see, I like to look at peppers. It's like getting my servings of vegetables. And some, I, think, I, I want to say peppers are technically a fruit. So, yeah, you know how you always want to get your five servings of fruits and vegetables. Well, peppers are my go-to, especially for those servings of fruit. I mean, because it does have seeds, so yeah, I guess technically they are fruit. Okay, now I'm gonna get myself a plate. Once again, I've gotta set the camera down. All right, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've got myself a plate here. I can turn this off, the fan off, and there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see that red pepper in there. Ooh, yeah, the Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper for lunch. Over half a Carolina Reaper. Eventually, I'll work my way up to eating a full Carolina Reaper in my lunch. And then I start building my way up to being able to eat, you know, one Carolina Reaper without anything. Maybe start off. The other night, I feasted on a Carolina Reaper. I probably ate about 20, about 30% of it. Took me like a long time though. Took me like almost an hour. And I actually did that for a live stream. So I've got some lunch left over here, but I'm gonna come over here. So there we have it. Ooh, yeah, there it is. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, and then just kind of put, just for decoration, a jalapeno there. And my poblano, my poblano, that right there. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mmm, yes. Chilies. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, it, it, you gotta, it has, you have to work up to it. But trust me, if you build up, you can, you can build up a tolerance. Let's start off nice and easy. The poblano or the Anaheim or a banana pepper or a peppercini. Anything with a low spice level, eat, you know, try to eat like one of those peppers. Once you feel comfortable, maybe increase the dosage. Maybe work up to eating two or three peppers. So like, for instance, like if you can comfortably eat a full poblano pepper with ease, or maybe even eat like two of these in one setting, you're, you are ready for the jalapeno. And when you can eat a full jalapeno, and you feel like, oh, this is, this is not, no longer a challenge, maybe try eating two jalapenos, or maybe even three. So that's one way you can build up a tolerance is by eating a higher quantity, or you can go up to the next pepper on the scale, like a serrano, and maybe just like take a bite out of the tip, because that's not as, there's not as much heat on the tip of a pepper, whereas like towards the placenta, which is more down towards the bottom part of the pepper, there's got more heat. So it is time for me to pour myself some milk. Woo! Yeah, hey, Merlin! All right, Merlin. Okay, how's it going? Okay, I'm gonna get myself some milk. Mmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, make sure I get myself a glass. Oh yeah, good old milk. And actually, the, and like you see like these hot pepper challenges 
and people like drink like a gallon of milk like after they eat this pepper. Well, actually, that's actually what can cause, you know, like bad. I mean, yeah, you want to drink milk, but you don't want to overdo it. And I use a, I use A2. That's my milk that I go to. A2 uh, whole milk. And I don't need to overdo it. Just give myself a modest amount there. All right. Got myself my glass of milk. Okay, all right. Now I just got to get myself a spoon. Woo, yeah, okay. I got, got myself a spoon here. Okay, so now, okay. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Okay. So, yeah, where is my cheese? Okay, well, my cheese, I know I put cheese on here, but I'm going to put a little, uh, I'm, gonna put, I'm just going to put a little, I'm just going to put a little more cheese here. Let me set this down. I'm just going to add a little, just a little more cheese. Just want to add a little, let's kind of add a little bit of that dairy. So dairy is a good thing to help kind of buffer out that spice from those peppers. So I'm just going to kind of add that point. There we go. Just kind of add some cheese on there. Okay. Just going to come over here. All right. Okay. So now the moment of truth. So I've got kind of like set this up, you know, I just got like, this is my, my pepper here. Yeah, let's face it. I'm kind of turned into what I guess some would say a pepper head. Yeah, or a chili head. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so one last there. Get the, get the milk out of the way so you guys can actually see it. So, so, okay, so now what you see here, if you can see the red, that is Carolina Reaper pepper. If you see red, that's Carolina Reaper. Okay, here we go, guys. It is now time for the ultimate taste test. All right, how good of a job did I do? And just to show you guys, I'm gonna add some Carolina Reaper. Okay, if I can help you, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, I, wanted, I, wanted, I want you guys to see, you guys can see the red. Because yes, there is Carolina Reaper in there. Mm, yeah, there it is. And it might be hard to see, but here we go. Okay, the moment of truth. My phone keeps ticking. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Woo! Oh yeah, there's that spice. Five star. Yeah, this, now this is what I call a five star on the spice scale stir fry. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh, oh no, this is gonna satisfy my hunger. Oh man, let me tell you. When you go for a two hour run and you don't have any snacks on you, only water, you are gonna build up an appetite. Woo! Oh, this is nice and super spicy. I probably could have added the whole Carolina Reaper, but like I mentioned, even though I may not notice like the extreme heat in my mouth, there is the stomach issue. Got to build up that tolerance in your stomach as well. So I'm going to be gentle to my stomach. So that's why I did add the full Reaper in there. But maybe by the end of the week, I will be adding a full Carolina Reaper and I'll be adding some other kinds of peppers in here. But mm, take another bite out of it. Big slice of jalapeno right here. Oh yeah, good old jalapeno. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yes. Woo! Looks like I had a little bit of a little bit of Carolina Reaper in that last spoonful. Oh yeah, here we go. More Carolina Reaper. Mmm. Woo! Hey! Hey, Ellen! How's it going? Oh yes. If you're just joining in, I have made some stir-fried rice as you can see here. Mixed with a jalapeno pepper, a serrano, and yes, over, I wanna say it's actually over half of a Carolina Reaper. And I actually took out and put into my lunch the hottest part of the pepper. Now I wasn't being, I wasn't being weak. I wasn't like using the least hard part of pepper. As you can see here, here is the remaining, the other part that I used. You can see here, not much of a placenta there. I actually took most of the placenta and put it in my lunch, which is where the heat is packed in. The placenta of the pepper 
That's where you find the heat. So yeah, here, that's the inside of a Carolina Reaper. So like for instance, because this doesn't have a placenta, if I wanted to, which I'm not gonna do now, if I want to like build my way up to eating a uh, Carolina Reaper, I would just eat this on its own, but not for now. Hey Merlin, thank you for a donation, Merlin. All right, cool Merlin. Oh, I know what I'm gonna be using that for. Oh, you guessed it. Uh, I've only got like two, I've got like two and a half Carolina Reapers left out of like the seven. No, actually I had like seven or eight Carolina Reapers. And yes, I've actually used them up. So actually, I just want to show you that I was like thinking, am I going to actually be able to use these Carolina Reapers? Now this thing was full. It had like seven, six or seven peppers. There's like two and a half left. So yeah, I am feasting on those reapers, building my tolerance. It's all about building that tolerance. Now, now here's what's interesting. The habanero pepper, even though that's only got like between 100 and 300,000 of Scoville, I was watching a video that actually the habanero pepper has a huge amount of sting. I was like trying to figure out, it's like, yes, I mean, I can eat a habanero pepper, you know, in, you know, in its entirety, but sometimes, I get like this intense stinging, not so much a burn, but like the stinging. So actually it's possible that a habanero pepper may be almost just as hard as eating a ghost pepper. And I'm gonna be ordering some ghost peppers because I wanna try out to see if I can actually consume an entire ghost pepper on its own. So of course I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, when I do eat a ghost pepper, I'll bring it to you guys and see how well I do with it. But for now, I've gotta continue on Feasting on my stir-fried rice that I made here. Mmm, yes. It does have I it does have some Carolina Reaper. And I'm gonna purposely look for a oh yeah, there's here's some Carolina Reaper right there. Oh yeah, there you go. Plain sight. There it is. Yep, if it's red, it's a Carolina Reaper. Woo yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, there's that little kick right there. Woo, yeah, oh yeah, five-star action. Yeah, oh yeah, five-star spice level. Oh yeah, it's like, I need to find myself a good, that's a problem though. If I, whenever I get five-star at like a restaurant, it's really not that spicy. So I guess if I really wanna have an honest five-star, yeah, just gotta add my own, make my own lunch, add some hot peppers, and there you have it. Voila, five-star action. Yeah, delicious. Mmm. 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 I think in all actuality, I probably could have done a full Reaper for my lunch. But, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I could make this into a six star. Oh, why not? I'm going to eat. Mmm. 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 There we go. Okay, now I want, I want to feel, I want to feel, I want to feel some moderate burn in my mouth. I want to, there we go, ah, that's better, ah, there we go, mmm. 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 Ah. I know, guys, I'm turning into a pepperhead. I'm turning into a pepperhead. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm, mmm, mmm. I feel awesome eating hot peppers. Mm. Excuse me, yeah? Oh, yeah. Hey, Laura, Laura, yeah, I gotta make sure. Actually, that's funny because last night I had some Carolina Reaper with some uh, spicy noodles. I forgot to wash my hands, and yeah, I was I was burning like around this part for like a good hour, but I was like, mm, that's, that's all part of the experience, guys. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, it's just so cool that how is it that we have these plants that grow this awesome fruit and it's packed with like these spices and it's like it makes people like anguish and agony sometimes it gives people a high they pack in a lot of nutrients i mean it's like you can't i mean the pepper was the greatest thing one of the greatest things of nature the good old hot pepper Mmm, yeah, the good old hot pepper. Yeah, I know, guys, I am t I've turned into a pepper head. Yeah, I know. I, I, I admit, I'm turning into a pepper head. Mmm. 
Mm, yeah. Woo. Ah, oh, yeah. Well, guys, I do have to get going. Uh, I do have a, a counseling appointment. Yeah, I know. Yep, a counseling appointment. It's not with, it's with the therapist that I was seeing before, but, you know, I gotta be, gotta be courteous. Gotta attend my session. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this live stream and you guys got to see me actually taste my lunch this time and actually, you know, be able to see me more at my true self, not having to be like super quiet and like not having to worry about waking up people. Just got done with a run. So I've got the endorphins from doing a run. Now I've got the endorphins from eating these hot peppers. You combine it too. Woo! That's, I mean, it's like, I think it's, I mean, it's like, if you're in a really bad place in life, you can't really go wrong with hot peppers. I mean, just remember, start off easy, work your way up. But I mean, it's like, I mean, I guess you could look at it as a, as a form of self-medication, but they pack in so many nutrients. But, oh yeah, it is going awesome, but I do have to attend my therapy session, guys. So I'm not gonna be able to finish my lunch, but I would love to finish it right now. But when I get done with my therapy session, oh yeah, this lunch is gonna be waiting for me. It's gonna be waiting. I'm just gonna heat it back up in the stove. Yep, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna throw, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the rest of that Carolina Reaper in there. Yeah, I might as well, yeah. So it's going in there. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in the entire Reaper in my lunch. Uh, but I'll, I'll be cutting it up. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through my comments quickly before I go here, just because I know I didn't really respond much to the comments in here, but uh, I wanna thank you all for joining in. Thank you, Merlin, for your donation. And I might have got, I think I got another donation in here, but let me, okay, I see, I just want to make sure that I'm giving thanks to everyone. Hey, uh, shout out to, okay, so quick little shout out to No Sympathy, Crazy Duck, Mag, uh, Magnus Woolton. Uh, I apologize if I don't get to everyone. Merlin, uh, Ellen, Crazy Duck, yeah. Come all on the media. Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got everyone in here. Laura, Laura, cool. All right, so see me just. I'm just gonna go to super chats here. Super chat. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, so Merlin, once again, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, I do have to get going. Uh, just kind of do my therapy session. But then I'm gonna come back down here and feast on this lunch. And yeah, I threw in the rest of that Carolina Reaper. So. It's gonna be a good lunch, and then it's time for me to do some studying with good my good old favorites, pandas, sequel, a little bit of python, but oh, that's, yeah, enough of that, guys. I do have to get going, so once again, thank you everyone for joining in, uh, making my five-star spice level stir-fried rice with some cheddar cheese. All right, everyone, take care, everyone, and peace.